Hi everybody, welcome to you in Poultry Extension channel of Engineer Rafat Khatar. Today, we are going to talk about the best program of vaccinations for table egg layers against viral and bacterial disease from the first day of age until the end of egg production period. The period that a flock of table egg hens live in the farm is about 18 months. The gross period is 4 to 5 months, and the egg production period is about 12 to 13 months. Various vaccinations are carried out against all diseases that affect birds during the gross period so that the chickens acquire sufficient immunity during egg production period and which it is prevented from catching birds. Vaccination program is selected according to the environmental conditions surrounding the farm and the epidemical situation of diseases prevalent in the area of the farm. The following is a proposed program for the vaccinations of table egg chickens, which achieved excellent results in the farms that applied it in Egypt in the past few years. At the age of one day, vaccinating with Merck vaccine in the hatcher, at a rate of 0.2 ml per chick intramuscular or subcutaneous injection. At the age of 3 to 4 days, vaccinating with live infectious bronchitis, IB H120 eye drops. At the age of 7 days, vaccinating with live Newcastle vaccine, HNRB1 or clone 30 eye drops. At the age of 9 days, Vaccinating with triple oil vaccine against Newcastle, Gumburu, and infectious bronchitis at a rate of 0.5 ml per chick intramuscular or subcutaneous injection. At the age of 11 days, vaccinating with oily avian influenza vaccine H5N1 at a rate of 0.5 ml per chick intramuscular or subcutaneous injection. At the age of 13 days, vaccinating with live Gomboro vaccine mesogenic strain, eye drops or in drinking water. At the age of 18 days, vaccinating against Newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis disease with live vaccine clone 30 plus IBMA5 eye drops or in drinking water. At the age of 22 to 23 days, Vaccinating with live Gomboro vaccine, strong strain in drinking water. At the age of 25 to 26 days, vaccinating with oily vaccine ND plus H9N2 against Newcastle and avian influenza disease at a rate of 0.5 ml per bed and muscular injection. At the age of 4 to 6 weeks, Vaccinating with live infectious laryngotracheitis vaccine ILT, eye drops. At the age of 45 days, vaccinating with the Suta vaccine against Newcastle disease in drinking water. At the age of 50 days, vaccinating with oily vaccine H5N1 against avian influenza disease at a rate of 0.5 ml intramuscular injection. At the age of 8 weeks, vaccinating with foul box plus epidemic tremor live vaccine with bird wing web method. At the age of 10 weeks, vaccinating with infectious coryza vaccine intramuscular injection. At the age of 11 weeks, Vaccinating with Lasuta vaccine against Newcastle disease and drinking water. At the age of 12 to 14 weeks, vaccinating with live infectious laryngotracheitis vaccine ILT, eye drops. At the age of 14 weeks, vaccinating with infectious coryza vaccine and muscular injection. At the age of 105 days, vaccinating with triple oily vaccine IB plus ND plus EDS against infectious bronchitis, Newcastle and egg drop syndrome disease.
had a rate of 0.5 ml intramuscular injection. At the age of 110 days, vaccinating with oily vaccine H9N2 against avian influenza disease had a rate of 0.5 ml per pill intramuscular injection. At the age of 115 days, vaccinating with oily vaccine H5N1 against avian influenza disease at a rate of 0.5 ml per bed intramuscular injection. Important instructions. 1. For the success of this program, biosecurity procedures must be applied on the farm to prevent or reduce source of infection. 2. Bears must be vaccinated with dead fowl cholera vaccine intramuscular injection in the infected areas twice at the age of 8 weeks and at the age of 14 to 16 weeks. 3. Bears must take piperazine at the age of 8 to 85 days at a rate of 150 mg per pill once every month and the next time after 2 months and repeat this until the end of the egg production period for treating Ascaris worms. 4. Laying hands should be vaccinated against Newcastle disease with the Suta vaccine and drinking water every 4 to 6 weeks to stimulate the immunity against Newcastle disease. The following must be done for the success of vaccination and drinking water. 1. Vaccination water must be from any disinfectant. 2. The drinkers must be washed with water free from any detergents or disinfectants. 3. Vaccinations should be done in the early morning before the temperature rises. 4. Bears must be thirsty 2 hours before vaccinations in the summer and 3 hours in the winter. 5. Bears must be in good health. 6. Skin milk should be added to the vaccination water at a rate of 2.5 grams per liter before adding the vaccine solution to it for improving the spread of vaccine viruses and increase their vitality. 7. Vaccine dose should be increased by 10 to 20 percent to compensate for the loss of vaccine during the vaccine procedure. 8. Vaccine and pool must be open under the surface of the water in about 5 liters. Then this water must be mixed with the water to which milk has been added. 9. Vaccine solution should be enough for bear's consumption for about 2 hours. 10. Vaccine solution must not be exposed to sunlight. Therefore, Vaccine solution must not be placed in the drinkers located in sunny places and the farms with windows. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I reply with suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.